Hello. As you all remember, I have a deep interest in architecture, which was depicted by the creators of the GTA San Andreas game using real landmarks as reference. Some of these buildings can be recognized by their architectural design. Some are based on textures that were created using photographs of the actual location. It even happens that the reference forms is used together with model texturing with real photographs, which gives such a building greater recognition. In this video I will tell you about one of these buildings, but it is different from the others in the game and you will soon find out why. In Los Santos, which borrows almost all parts of its territory from Los Angeles, there is one large building, which in the game is called Alhambra and is a nightclub in which the player can participate in a dancing minigame in order to set a personal record. And this place is also available for a date with a girlfriend who wants to dance. This building hides some secrets. For example, quite deep under its interior there is a very powerful smoke machine, which generates a constant stream of white smoke, and if it stood in the interior, we would definitely suffocate from such an abundance of smoke. The creator of the interior was forced to move it too low that we only saw a small part of this smoke stream. There are also beer taps for dispensing drinks at the club bar, but we don't see it until we are about to leave the interior, as perhaps this object has been assigned the wrong interior index. But this is not at all what I would like to talk about. After all, the story will be about a person, partly thanks to whom the Alhambra building appeared in Los Santos and perhaps this building would not have existed or it could have looked differently, as, unlike most other buildings and places of Los Santos, the textures of this club belong not to photographers from Rockstar but to the Honorable Professor of English and taught art history at Bluffton University, Mary Ann Sullivan. Mary Ann was born in Oklahoma City in 1941. She received her Bachelor of Arts and Master of Arts degrees from Rice University in Houston, where she was a Ford Foundation Fellow, and her Doctor of Philosophy in English Literature from The Ohio State University. She also did extensive graduate coursework in art history at Bowling Green State University and participated in the Florida State University Study Abroad Program, spending a semester in Florence, Italy, in 1983. During her professional career, she received many awards, but her main award for us was a publication about the Herald Examiner building, which showed her photographs depicting the facade and details of the building, which were used as textures in the GTA San Andreas video game. I have a guess that even though the photographer's route from Rockstar passed relatively close to the Examiner building, the photographer simply forgot to take a photo of him or this was not part of his plans at all and the goal of recreating the examiner building came to the developers after the completion photo trips of this photographer. Or maybe the author of the Los Santos map simply went online and found a page on this site, where the publication was located earlier than the period of development of this video game or its release. As a result, in the game we see the undeniable use of photographs by Mary Ann Sullivan, where some details in the photographs clearly demonstrate this despite the edited textures where deformation, alignment, mirroring and other actions for processing photographs in a photo editor were applied. In an architectural sense, the examiner was created quite authentically, but this is not surprising, because its form in the photographs was visible in its entirety and did not have any complications that would have been impossible to realize without being able to see them. And I will immediately show you an example of poor use of reference due to the lack of information about the hidden parts of the building. This is the Mosaic Church on Hollywood Boulevard, where it is clearly visible that the creator of the model of this building did not know what it looked like on the back or side, as a result of which these sides were thought up by the author without observing the repetition of the actual architectural unit. This building is located directly opposite the Alhambra Club in Los Santos. But textures from Mary Ann Sullivan were applied almost everywhere in the places where they were located in the real version. Somewhere we can also notice the loose use of textures, which does not correspond to the real building. While playing GTA San Andreas, I was always under the misconception that these walled-up arches were a mistake made by the creators of the model, who simply could not place the texture of the windows in the appropriate places, because if you find modern photographs of this building, then these windows will be present there. Such situations can be repeatedly noticed when the building model included the presence of doors, windows or other objects that were not decorated with appropriate textures, but thanks to photographs of Mary Ann Sullivan or other photographs from that time period, it may be clear that the creators of the model found this building with bricked-up windows. From this point on, 
The windows were restored only in 2020, and there is also a photograph from 1963, where windows are also present on the first floor. By the way, the building itself was built in 1915 and, according to the information from the encyclopedia, windows were also absent during the Second World War. The Examiner building is also featured in the video game L.A. Noir with its original name and if you believe this game, then in 1947 the windows on the first floor are present and were most likely made according to a reference from old photographs of those times. On the site where my friend Tom Nord was able to find one of the original images of the Examiner texture, there is an indication that the photographs are copyrighted and are not intended for commercial use. But this fact did not in any way affect the use of these photographs in a commercial project from the Rockstar Studio. I had an idea to contact Mary Ann Sullivan to clarify the details of the creation of these photographs and also to find out about the resources on which these photographs were posted in order to examine them in search of other images that the studio could use in the game as textures. But, to our deepest regret, Mary Ann Sullivan died in 2018 without ever knowing that the Alhambra Club in Los Santos was textured with her photographs, which were probably more than 20 years old. While researching the legacy of Mary Ann Sullivan on this website, I came across another building that was published in March 2004. This is the East Building of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, which has nothing to do with Los Angeles, Los Santos and San Andreas in general. But it is present in the western part of Los Santos and there is a suspicion that this building appeared in the game thanks to a publication on this site, where the author of the model saw it and decided to put it on the map of Los Santos. And although this three-page publication contains many interior and exterior photographs, the author of the model did not receive a general plan of the building and did not know its full shape. Therefore, if you compare the real building of the National Gallery of Art and what we see in Los Santos, it will be noticeable that only its front part was made according to the reference. The remaining sides were simply created manually and do not follow a real example, which serves as another fact that the person who visited the site with a publication about the Examiner building, then came across a publication about the National Gallery of Art building and no longer cared that this building was not located in Los Angeles. Otherwise, it is difficult to imagine what could have prompted the author, presumably from Scotland, to place a building from Washington in a Los Angeles prototype around other buildings that correspond both the architectural reference and the geographical location on the game map relative to the real one. You may be interested to know that in the game's file archive there is an unused recording of a car's route that passes through the National Gallery of Art building as if at one stage of the game's development there was a completely different building in this location from which vehicles could leave. Unlike the Alhambra Club, in the release version of this game the National Gallery of Art does not have any role in the gameplay and is inaccessible to the player, remaining just a building with a mysterious history of presence in the video game. By the way, the windows from the Herald Examiner building were used not only at the Alhambra Club, you can see the same window texture on Helena's farmhouse in the Flint Range as well as CJ's farmhouse in Whetstone. The gray wall texture from the Herald Examiner building can be seen on the staircase near the Santa Maria Pier. And the old wooden doors that you may have noticed on the sides of the Alhambra Club have no connection with the Herald Examiner building. This is one of the entrance doors to St. Andrew's Wesley United Church in Vancouver, British Columbia photographed by Jeff Hallman for the Marlin Studios, Downtown Surfaces and Signs Texture Pack, released in 1999. There are only a few places where such a door is used in the game exclusively in Los Santos. The first location is a mansion in Vinewood Hills, and based on similar name parts of other textures, we can conclude that the texture of this wooden door was originally added to the game for this location. The second place is the main entrance doors to Griffith Observatory in south part of Los Santos. And the last place where we can see this door is Jefferson Church, very close to where our game begins. I hope you enjoyed my story. If yes, put your like to this video and subscribe to my channel so as not to miss the release of new videos. And also, on my Discord server you will find a lot of additional information about such facts. I always leave a link to my Discord server in the description of the video. Bye.